Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bushy Punga from the Pop Noom Geek, and today, guys, we're checking out Tubes, a play it safe and sound earbuds or air tube headsets, as they like to call it, radiation free earbuds. Now, a lot of you guys out there might not know about you know how radiation works and I'm not probably not the best person to describe that but there's a lot of speculation out there with you might have heard it with telephones earbuds everything anything basically you put to your head which emits some sort of radiation they say could lead to cancer tumors etc now this is a, a fight between a lot of people saying no it's fine it's safe and a lot of people are saying no you know you have to have you know you can get covers for your phones and anything, like, anything you put to your head to protect yourself because you only got one brain and once that's gone you know better be safe than sorry as i like to say now i've been using these air tube headsets for a couple of weeks now as i really it took me a while to get used to because as the sound passes through here as so the speakers are down here passes through this air tube and into the earbuds it creates a more bassier feel. Now, don't get me wrong, yes, bass is great, but this is like too much bass for me, and I had to EQ that. So dropping the bass or having a bass reduce uh, in your EQ settings was, that, that's, that was perfect for me, and I was able to get good enough sound. Now, these headphones or earphones shouldn't be made for you know, great sound. They're made for radiation-free protection. Now, obviously, if you're in the market for radiation-free earbuds, the Tubes headsets are the way to go. So let's take a closer look. Now, the magnets here, it sort of reminds me of a stethoscope, you know, like a doctor's stethoscope right here. It has a magnet right here, so it connects really easy, so you're not gonna get them tangled or anything like that. Uh, this is like a nice rubber, stretchy uh, cord. Now, I believe these are quite, like I think, German-made, I could be wrong. Uh, but it's really nicely made and also has a function pinch to mute. Now, I use this function, but because it's traveling through air, it actually blocks out a lot of the sound. So if you had two earbuds in, and even if you did a pinch to mute, it still blocked out a lot of the stuff that, you know, you, you were still able to hear someone talking, but it was quite muffled because these really go in your ears and um, they do block out a lot of noise as well, which I liked. However, the sound wasn't too great, but always remember, 98% radiation protection, which is amazing. Now, right here, you've got where the tubes, where everything is all controlled right here. Now, I believe this is where the speakers are, and then it pushes the air to the tubes. Now, because it's air passing through, you're gonna get very loud bass, hence why I said bass reduce works a treat. Now, over here, you've got your microphone, which works reasonably well. Uh, you know, pretty standard microphone. You've got a call, uh, decline function, everything's all here, change music, change tracks, and a little clip. However, the way it sits, this, the microphone, sits really low, like more close to your chest. So it'll be interesting to see if they were able to somehow put a microphone in here and have a directional pointing up. And I'd love to see something of like that in their next version. I believe this is version three of the headset. So they're always trying to develop new ways to improve the tube's headsets. They've got down the radiation, but I really wish they'll focus on sound. Now this is the wide version, not much to explain about this, except it's you know, a radiation-free wide headset. However, let's check out the Bluetooth version. So inside the box, so you've got your Echo Tubes paperwork here, which shows how to disassemble and assemble everything, how everything works, because this is the Bluetooth version. You are gonna get a Bluetooth receiver, which is, I think, is really cool. Now, we'll talk about this little back thing in a minute. So this is the Echo Tubes Bluetooth receiver. This will allow you to change tracks, accept calls, has a built-in microphone, as you can see right there, and it will wirelessly connect to your mobile device, and you're able to actually you know, use your headphones. Now, these headphones right here, if we take these out, these are the white ones. I think these look pretty cool. So as you can see here, how this will work is plugs directly into here and then you can be able to use, oh, this is stuck on here. So you plugs directly into the Bluetooth receiver and then you're able to actually use this wirelessly and then that just clips onto some part of your clothing. I think this is really cool. I really love this because it's wireless, it's completely wireless. But the one thing I really love as well, if, because 
you know, yes, the, the speakers aren't too great. Yeah, they're, they're still, remember, they're 98% radiation free. And also, if you're wondering, what about this Bluetooth receiver? This is gonna be right on your chest. Well, they've actually included this, this, this sort of radiation protection. How, so how this works, it goes along here, it sits on the back, it's quite big, but this actually stops radiation emitting to your chest as well. Now, I'm not an expert, but from what I read, uh, they say around your chest area, it actually doesn't, um, you don't actually emit a lot of radiation from there anyways, it's mainly around your brain area. Uh, which is easily emitted. So having this here though is a really nice security if you are aware of radiation free products. So it's a nice feature to have on there. Now, again, what I was gonna say was, what if you wanna take these out and if you've got some better headphones and they're not you know, wireless or anything like that, boom. Plug in any regular old headphones right here. These are the Astro earbuds. I don't think they make these anymore uh, and then there you go, you got wireless audio <laughs> straight to your headset. You're gonna have this really excessively long headset, but it's gonna be Bluetooth. However, it's not gonna be radiation free because you're just making this Bluetooth thing talk to these you know, radiation <laughs> emitting earbuds directly into your head. So obviously that defeats the purpose, but I think if you're gonna get the Bluetooth version, get it because you, got, you get this nice little nifty product right here which is pretty cool personally i would go with the bluetooth version because it gives you a bit more to work with especially if you want to use other headphones as well but at the same time have the capability of using these earbuds which are designed to be radiation free as well anyway guys this has been the tubes headsets which are 98 percent radiation free which are pretty cool I really wish they'll focus on the speakers. I know it's not the main focus of this whole thing. It's all about being radiation free, but if they improve the headphones somehow, somehow, because I know they use Intellivision very similar tubing in their earbuds uh, so they can get notifications from their directors and everything like that wirelessly. Now, if they can improve these things, I think this will dramatically change the way people listen to their music. At this moment, passing air through these tubes creates a very heavy bass, which makes the sound quite, you know, it's too bassy. That's my personal preference. I still think they're really amazing and a great concept. However, if they do improve the speakers, I think a lot of people would be more inclined to purchase them, especially because they are 98% radiation free. And for the already the people out there who are quite aware and really want radiation free products, definitely get these speakers tweak the sound through your EQ settings on your mobile phone which you know nearly all phones can do now and you'll get reasonably good sound out of these earbuds anyway guys this has been the tubes earbuds review thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one see ya